There's a lot of truth to this film, at least from what I've seen presently with it. Isolation and self-destruction, I would say those are two emotions that certainly come to play when you're dealing with death or coming to grips with it. And I can imagine when it's, you know, the death of a loved one, those emotions are just even further amplified. And for Jim, it's certainly going to be the case because he's going to have to witness the death of his daughter and have to deal with those emotions. Daughter is, in fact, the name of this film. It sounds very deep. It's a drama film that released back in uh, 2019. You can probably tell from the point I'm getting this uploaded that I'm really late to the party. <laughs> I'm still catching up with a lot of older videos that have been on the list for a long time that I haven't gotten a chance to look at yet. But slowly but surely, I'm getting caught up. But it sounds very much like an awards caliber film from what I've seen. It also got a, I don't know if it's got its debut at the uh, Vancouver International Film Festival. It was an official selection. And I think, yeah, I'm looking at the daughter. It's uh, daughterofthefilm.com. It's the official website. Actually, it premiered, oh, it did premiere um, in British Columbia at the Vancouver International Film Festival and then internationally at Sao Paulo. Um, in 2019, it got seven nominations, and it oh, it did win for Best Supporting Performance by a Female. Um, that would be for Gabrielle uh, Rose. I don't think it's, she's an actress I'm familiar with, but it sounds really interesting. I'll certainly say that Anthony Shim is getting bragging rights for this film. He is, this is going to be his uh, directorial debut, actually, for a feature film. He did do uh, one project, a short um, I haven't seen it. I'm not familiar with this guy in terms of him being in the director's seat for any projects, but he did star, I mean, he's an actor as well. He starred in Star Trek Beyond and the old Smallville TV series. So that's very interesting. Seems like he's kind of boosting up a bit in his um, career. This sounds, again, as I said, um, certainly awards caliber and very sophisticated. This is what the IMDb synopsis says for Daughter. In the aftermath of his daughter's death, Jim is living a life of isolation and self-destruction, as I noted, until he can no longer hide and must face his tragic past. This film was very relevant for a lot of people, I'm sure. Just looking on that synopsis, I mean, as horrible as it sounds to say, it's certainly not a happy thing, but death is a natural part of life. We're born, we live, we die. Everybody goes through that. But I would definitely say, you know, I'm mean, sure it's hard for the people that actually have to experience the death. Because, you know, you're like, you want to live it every day, right? You, well, well, we can't all be young forever. <laughs> and sometimes that's actually a good thing. But, um, I, I, I don't know. It, it, I think it may depend on the person. But it's certainly hard, I would say, for the people who are actually experiencing the death. But it's probably hard for the people, or I should say it's harder for the people who are around them, who have to live on with a big void in their life, right? Somebody just died. It's not something easy to get over, right? And that, depending on the person, it could be somebody very close. You know, it's hard to have to say goodbye. I mean, there's been plenty of films that have released, you know, that kind of storyline over time. Um, although I've personally, you know, I, I'm sh I, well, I've known many people who have experienced this, you know, their a death of their child. It's horrible. I just read the other day, um, as I'm recording this, there's been some wildfires going on. I think it was in the state of um, Washington. I think it was a, a one-year-old that died uh, from the wildfires. That, that was really sad. I remember reading that. I think the I think one of the parents got burned too. Um, I don't remember. I haven't looked at that story in detail. I remember reading like a one-year-old died from that. That'd be hard, right? Especially for ex such an unexpected, you know, freak of nature. Um, just come up on somebody like that and, you know, take their life, especially for a parent. That, that, I can't imagine what they're going through. Um, but uh, that'd be really sad, actually, really think about it. You know, prayers to the family, for certain. Um, but I've never experienced that. I can only imagine how painful that would be. I can certainly say, you know, as I was knowing earlier, it, this can go, you know, even beyond a child with, it, with this particular movie. It can extend to a loved one, right? You know, we we have loved ones around us, and, you know, they... Maybe they're older than us. Maybe they go through some tragic accident. Maybe, you know, life happens and unfortunately somebody passed. I remember a couple of years ago, my uh, grandmother passed away. And it was really hard to watch that because you knew. Well, that was hard because I forget the type of cancer she was dealing with. It was like stage four. It was either kidney or lymph or it was a combination of the two. There was something, but... Um, Either way, it was hard. You're sitting there looking at that and you're like, okay, here's a lady that you've watched for 20 plus, not 20, but I, mean, I was really young at the time. I'd say about 15 years. Going, walking around, so healthy. You know, she would go walking outdoors all the time, hanging out with her friends, go to, 
you know, travel across state lines um, to go visit her family. And I remember just the year it hit, and we were like, okay, now she's got stage four cancer. And slowly, it, it was agonizing because you're not just seeing that she passed away. You literally had to sit there and watching the cancer eat away at, at an incredibly healthy woman that you would never anticipate that happening. I mean, death is hard. I mean, but I imagine, you know, kind of going back to where the family was going specifically with the fact that you're dealing with a father who just lost his child. Um, I can only imagine what, what I experienced because it wasn't a child, it was, a, but it was a family member. So I, it's kind of similar. But I can imagine when it's, you're dealing with a child who barely got to live, you know, their life. I can't imagine what they're feeling. I mean, that, that it's just horrible to think about, but... There's a lot of people who have to go through that. Um, <laughs> it's unfortunate as it is, but hopefully, you know, hopefully Jim's able to process that in some way. Because I mean, the grieving process, you know, it's natural. There's a time for that. And it's hard. I mean, we should certainly note, with at least this case, you know, just thinking about it, never take any moment for granted. Enjoy what we have especially when you're dealing with, you know, your kids or a loved one, enjoy those moments, right? Because you might not have them forever. I mean, again, it's horrible. Discussing death is not a happy thing. And I try to be so happy about and positive on this channel, but it's like sometimes you just, you know, you look at the film and you're like, this is a really sad topic. You can't be positive about it. You just got to be real. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, th th this would be hard for anybody. Um, but I'm very intrigued in seeing where this project goes. I mean, again, certainly sounds like it's awards caliber. I think it certainly hit that level. And it got several nominations and a win. Let's take a look at Daughter. As always, we are going to watch this first. And we will talk about it more in my condensed review segment. Thought I was watching the video together. Okay, here we go. It's got several award nominations, so you know it's going to be really good. Would you like another drink? No, thank you. Oh, come on. It's lonesome drinking. I don't know if that was necessary, but... It's even more lonesome. Is everything okay? Yeah. Everything is fine. You look thin. Are you eating? I'm failing miserably. Jim, you can't hide away like this forever. This poor guy probably just wants an escape from his real life. She stays locked up in her room all night. She won't eat. I try asking her what's going on. She won't talk to me. Tracy, open the door. Something has happened, Jim. Something bad, I know it. It's not fair. It's not fair, man. No, 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 for everything. The only thing we can do The best thing we can do is just keep on living. I'll always love her. It really I'll captures the emotions. Oh, what a tender font to throw on for that too. I was expecting um, a line like that towards the end, which I really thought the pauses worked. Well, I mean, the entire trailer. Well, there's a couple parts of this trailer just based on, you know, what I'm comfortable with watching in film. Um, some scenes I didn't need to see. Like, it looks like he's at a bar. But you know, to be fair, everybody, the grieving process is very natural. Everybody has ways that, they're able to, you know, they look back on their life at some point, you you find ways over time that you've realized that you, that's how you process grief or sadness. Um, I'm not sure hitting the booze is the best solution for that, especially at one of such a risque joint. I don't, really don't know. It wasn't necessary for the film to go there, I don't think. Again, it's not really something I'm comfortable with watching myself. Um, but I can certainly say that I I felt the experience. You can certainly see everybody's grieving in their own way, like uh, the daughter. Well, that's hard to watch, though. I'm guessing... 
that's Death is a It's hard. It's really hard for a lot of people, you know, encountering that because you really don't know. You don't know how to deal with it, especially you know if you've never experienced the death before of a loved one. One, especially, um, is it well for this dad, his daughter, or for the uh, girl, her sister? I mean, this is that's really hard. But I, I did like the line they had at the end, which really I think nailed the the pathos part of this trailer in. Although they didn't say it like I thought they would. Um, they say keep. They ever say it's hard to tell. Um, but I think they said the best thing we can do is just keep. Is that would keep on living or keep her living? If it's keep her living, that'd be kind of creative. Um, but keep on living, I'm sure, is you know a very familiar line, right? You just gotta move on, right? You gotta continue to process, even as that is hard to acknowledge you sometimes don't want to move on right but you can't stay see there's really no positive way to say this it just it's hard um you can't stay stuck in the past forever and you know the, the there's a i forget the exact book the exact verse specifically but there's a passage in the bible that talks about like to everything there's a season um you have a time to live and a time to, well i don't know if it exactly says it like this but um, it's like there's a time to live, there's the a time for war, a time for peace. There's all these analogies they're making, or that God makes in in the book. Um, but you know, there's a time to die as well, right? There's a season to everything in life, and sometimes encountering a season like this, you can't really. It's one thing to think about it. It's another thing to actually have to deal with it and to feel those experiences. I think as far as what Anthony Shim is doing here. Um, yeah, certainly plays like an awards film level. Uh, I was kind of surprised though. I think the house they picked actually, and the way they filmed it too, makes it look at least a little higher budget than some of the other award films I'm used to, or what you would say like a war film or an indie film. Um, some of them do tend to have lower budgets. I didn't feel it with this one as much. It felt like a professional film, like something you'd go see, um, you know, the theaters of a higher budget. But I think it certainly nailed getting that emotional through line about the trailer. I can only imagine the film, it's going to be, you know, further emphasized, it's going to be further developed. So I would be in, very interested to check this out. I think there are probably going to be some points as I noted, um, like at the beginning. That one scene, I think, at the bar was just kind of unnecessary. I Like, I get people are able to deal with things in certain ways, but certain things I don't need to see. Um, they could have angled that a little bit better, so maybe those ladies were not at the front of the camera. Um, so probably I'll just have one scene I or maybe two or something, I don't know, but I'll, I'll read a couple of reviews before just to know what I can expect, but I would be keen to watch it because, you know, this is an experience that is very real for a lot of people, right? And I like movies like this because they really do, they just dive into those experiences and they really flesh them out. Probably the reason I moved it, or a lot more, or put a lot more focus into looking at indie movies because these films are just, some of them are just so amazing um, and they really, they resonate with you in ways a lot more of the commercial films often don't. This looks good. I, I'm very intrigued with Anthony Shim here and what he's able to do. Um, I would be, I would also be very keen to check out some of his, you know, future films if he ever gets. I'm sure he'll get an opportunity because he got nominations for this. Um, so I'll keep a lookout for, you know, a future Anthony Shim film. And if so, I will cover it on this channel for sure. What do you guys think about Daughter? Are you as impressed with it as I am? Is it something that you'd be looking to, maybe you've already seen at this point because I'm behind. <laughs> um, if, if that is the case and you've seen it, would you recommend it? Or if, you, if it's the first time looking at Daughter, what do you think? Feel free to leave me your comments down below. Don't forget all the good stuff. Like, subscribe, subscribing that bell. Until our next, uh, if it's an Anthony Shin film, maybe, or just another movie, you know, whatever film we get to watch together next to the trailer for, I'll see you guys at that point. But until then, thanks for watching this video. I love you guys. Don't forget to love yourselves. Your fellow man, God bless. Peace.